Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're gonna to make some gorgeous mica painted dominoes. I am using this chameleon powder from Let's Resin. I've got teal, I've got grape, and I have galaxy. Now this is such a simple technique. Basically, I am going to be just taking each color and with this little paintbrush, I'm going to be painting them inside the domino mold wherever I want them. Now, typically I would do these in two parts. I would do the first layer of resin on the front here and then a solid color on the back. For this, I'm gonna actually do it all at one time though, and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. The only reason to really worry about that is if you're worried about people cheating and you don't want them to be able to tell which domino is which, which I'm not really worried about. So I'm just starting off with the one color here. As soon as you're done with your one color, you're gonna go into the next one. You can change brushes or just blend it if you'd like. I like to kind of overlap them a little bit and blend them. That's totally a personal preference but I just think that that works best and it looks awesome. All right, now if you have a bunch of excess powder, feel free to shake it out. My favorite color out of these three was the second one I used, which is the Grape. So I'm going to use that as my main color for the rest of the dominoes. So we'll have that really cool color on the front and then the rest will be this color. Once again, you could do it in two parts if you want, totally up to you. So this is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and I have already pre-mixed it with equal parts A and B. If you need to, check out um, my other videos on mixing resin that will answer any and all questions on that. This resin is uh, awesome. It's got maximum UV protection and it's what I prefer to use. So I've mixed that mica in and now we're gonna go ahead and pour. Now, once you get to the end here, just pour slowly. The biggest point is that they are all even. <laughs> so you can't have some that are less full than others or your dominoes will be all different sizes. And I try to just fill them all pretty perfectly to the top. Okay, that seems pretty perfect to me. The last step here is we want to remove any and all air bubbles. So you're not gonna wanna use a torch because it will ruin your silicone mold. I like to go ahead and just spritz some 91% isopropyl alcohol on here. And that will get rid of the air bubbles. At this stage, we're gonna go ahead and let these cure and then we'll be back when they're ready to be demolded. All right, we're back. These are all dry, so we're gonna go ahead and demold. Very simple. This is a fantastic mold. They come out of here very easily. One thing I typically do is kind of break it like a chocolate bar. <laughs> and then that just makes it really easy to just pop these out. All right, so look how gorgeous this is. So you can see all three colors on here. Um, these look pretty galactic. Of course, feel free to use any colors that you want. And I'm gonna show you real quick how I do these dots. I like to use an oil-based paint marker. This one is 2.5 millimeter medium point, And this one is white, but feel free to use any color that you want. You could also use uh, just paint and a paintbrush, but I found this to be way easier and it's really fast. So we're gonna just fill in the holes and then fill in the line here. Try not to overdo it. Sometimes these can kind of leak. And then set that to the side, let it dry and go on to the next one. And I'll show you how we handle that over spill there. So don't worry if you get it all over the place, it's not a problem. Sometimes I'm pretty messy with these markers.
Once you've got all of your dots done, I'm not going to do them all right now because it does take a little bit, uh, you'll want to wipe off the excess paint. So to do that, I just take a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol and wipe it and it comes off very, very easily and cleanly. I think this does work best after it is uh, the marker itself is a little bit drier. So I like to do all the dots and then come back and fix them up. If need be, if you made a hot mess like this, you might need to go over it a couple times, but it wipes off really easily with that alcohol. All right, and that is really all there is to it. So you don't have to use white for the dots. Feel free to use gold, to use silver, to use literally any color that you want. One other quick note on the back of these, sometimes this edge can be just a tiny bit sharp. So you may want to lightly sand that, but you don't always need to. So that's just on an as needed basis. Otherwise, these are ready to go. They are ready to use. I really hope you guys enjoyed this project and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.